In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this cute little hanging basket. All you'll need is a five millimeter cotton cord and a 10 millimeter crochet hook. It just takes a couple of hours. It's perfect for a nursery. So here we go. We're gonna make a magic circle first. We're going to wrap board around your hand three times and then take your 10 millimeter hook and pull the first loop underneath those two loops that are already on your hand. Then you're going to go over the top of those two loops and pull through again and then through that loop that you've already made. And this is the start of your magic circle. Then just take that off of your hand. You have the basis of the circle and then you're just going to do round one is six stitches into the circle. So you're going to pop your hook into the circle, pull up a loop and then pull through those two and that's one single crochet into the circle. You're going to do this again five more times. You go into the circle, pull up a loop, you have two loops on your hook and then you are going to yarn over and pull through those two loops. Hook into the circle, pull through, you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through those two. You now have three stitches. We're going to do another three. Hook into the circle, pull up a loop, you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through. And then another time. And then last time, you now have six stitches. We're just going to pull on that tail. And then where that is coming out of, you see that that side is being pulled. So the other side you want to pull. And that will pull on the second loop, which should close if you pull on that part of the first loop. There we go, and then all you've got to do is pull on your tail and that will close your circle. Now we are going to go on to round two now and we're gonna do two single crochet in each stitch. So that's one single crochet in the first stitch. I'm going to add the stitch marker here just so we don't get lost. And then in that same stitch you're going to work another single crochet. You're going to do that same thing to all the stitches around, so two in each stitch. Put your hook in, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through those two. All right, and again in that stitch. So you now have four stitches. Now this is the fifth one. Five, six, in that same stitch, you've done half of your stitches now, so you just have to do the other half of the circle. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then two more, eleven, and twelve. That's the last stitch in this round. You have completed round two. Well done. And we can see our stitch marker is right there and we are just going to do the first stitch of the next round in that same stitch. All right, then we're going to take the stitch marker out and pop it onto this first stitch in this round. Then we are going to do round three, so we're going to do 18 stitches. So 
So in the first stitch, we are going to do two single crochets in that first stitch. Okay, and then the next stitch, we're going to do one single crochet. So this is the second stitch, we're going to do one single crochet in here. The third stitch is going to be two stitches. All right, two stitches. And then the next stitch is going to be one stitch and then two and then one stitch then two excellent and then one so it's every other stitch you want to do two single crochets that's two and then one and oops and then two and one okay so that's 18 stitches don't worry guys I do have a PDF which is completely free at the bottom in the description so then round four we're going to do 24 stitches so the first stitch we're going to do one mark that stitch And then one in the next stitch and then two in the next stitch okay so three and four are going to be in this third stitch three and four and five and six are going to be in the next two stitches just single crochets and then seven and eight are going to be in the same stitch nine and ten in the next stitch and then eleven and twelve in the same stitch so you've done half of your circle thirteen and then fourteen in the next stitch in the next stitch you're going to do fifteen and sixteen and seventeen and then 18 in the next. Nineteen and twenty in that same stitch. And then twenty-one in the next, twenty-two in the next, and then twenty-three and twenty-four are going to be in that same stitch, which is going to be your last stitch in this round. And then you've got twenty-four stitches. And you can see that your work is kind of like working into a bowl shape, which is amazing and now we're going to do one more round just going to make it a little bit wider and increase the circle a little bit more so we're going to increase by six more stitches so you will have 30 stitches at the end so into that first stitch we're going to do one single crochet and then we're going to move our stitch marker to that first stitch. Number two and three in the first three stitches okay and then you're going to do your two single crochets in the next stitch. Okay so one in the next stitch one in the next stitch and then one in the next stitch and then two in this stitch one in the next stitch one in the next stitch one in the next stitch and then two in that next stitch one in the next stitch one in the next, one in the next, and then two in the next stitch. Nearly there. One in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next, and then two in that next stitch. Okay. One in the next, one in the next, 
one in the next and then your last stitch you want two single crochets in that last stitch and that will make up your 30 stitches in this round and just shape your bowl a little bit <laughs> a little bit more around here Now we have done round five, I'm just going to snip the middle part of the cord out of the centre. We are going to just make sure it's all shaped nicely upwards as you would like your basket to be and then we are going to start doing the sides. Okay, so that's going to be making sure that your project goes upwards instead of outwards and you're going to just start building up the sides so you just want to do one single crochet in each stitch around and you will move your stitch marker just to that first stitch so you can see where you started but there's no slip stitches or anything like that you are just simply going to single crochet around every single stitch and you're going to do that for six rounds Time you do another round you just want to shape your basket nicely upwards kind of like an amigurumi but it's a basket <laughs> it's so dead easy just single crochet all the way around and make something pretty I love this color as well it's a blush rose color and it's just so pretty Now we have our six rounds. Our pot is going to look like it's got some nice, decent high sides, which is what we want. So we're just gonna fasten this off here. I'm gonna cut this piece to about 10 centimeters and then I'm gonna fasten off. And how I usually do it is I wanna make it kind of look like another stitch. So I'm gonna pull that completely out. And then I'm going to miss a stitch and then thread it underneath that second stitch. And then pull it through and then thread it back through that stitch it came out of. And then that kind of makes it look a bit like a stitch. <laughs> so you can't see the joint as much, okay? And then you can just kind of lose it into the basket by just pulling it through with your crochet hook. There we go. You can take the stitch marker out now and there you have your basket. So you can just use this as a basket normally. It's 
very pretty and you can just use it for anything really. I was going to use twine but actually I used some cotton because I thought it would look prettier for a little baby's room, so it would look sweet. So I measured about 40 to 50 centimetres doubled up, so that's about kind of like a metre. And I doubled it over and then I made a slip knot in the end of this one. And I left about two inches at the other end. made a slip knot with that so you've got kind of like a bigger loop coming out then with that smaller loop I pulled that tight and then I will chain 30. So I chained 30 stitches with those two pieces of string or cotton. That just gave a really kind of pretty like rope type look. You can hang this with anything really I mean I wouldn't like to hang a plant in this because it doesn't hold too much weight but um, yeah toys would be perfect. And then I just cut that off. I pu pulled the crochet hook out and then that pulled the string out and then made two more of those. So they were my little hangers. And then because I had 30 stitches, it was really easy to see where I would attach them. So you can start anywhere on your basket. I started with this stitch and then I just popped that through and then kind of looped that through, that top part through the bottom part. And that was pretty much it. And then just to make it secure, I tied a knot again just to make it completely secure and then pulled that tight and then I counted 10 stitches the stitch after the 10th stitch was where I did the next one I did a knot for belt and braces and then I did the exact same thing again. three and made sure they weren't twisted and I just tied a knot at the top. You could use the same cotton cord that you used to crochet with. Um, here I just thought it'd be nice to have a different colour and a different texture to hang them with. So I did a double knot at the top here and that was pretty much it. We have a new home for our cuddlies, so cute. Let me know what you think in the comments and what you think of this gorgeous colour, I think it's beautiful. If you like this video, you'll absolutely love this one. So I'll see you there.